Hey guys, welcome to Next Selenium tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how can we do scroll for left and right. So the, basically, it is called as horizontal scroll. So in the previous video, we have seen how can we uh, scroll up and down using multiple uh, different varieties of methods using JavaScript executor. So in this video also, we are going to use the same uh, JavaScript executor, and we are going to see how to uh, scroll left and right right so let us see how can we do that so earlier uh, in the video right we have taken this ethra.com for a scroll up and scroll down right so in this uh, video we are going to take this um, uh, website and we are going to see how can we do scroll right and scroll left right so selenium does not provide any directly uh, handling this uh, scroll up or down or scroll left or right it, there is no methods in selenium directly right it, it supports so, so for that what we can do right so we have to use a javascript executor and we have to use the javascript methods to do the operations right so first we are going to see scroll right and how can we do scroll left so let us see let's get started with that so in say in javascript right we have a method called scroll into view so what this will do right based on the web element it will uh, scroll uh, do scroll right or left so for that what we have to do right so we have to first find out what is the web element we have to scroll so let's get that uh, let find element by uh, you can take id so what is the id this uh, particular web application has we wanted to do the um, scroll right so let's inspect this Let's take this as anchor tag with id a22 let us take this so this is going to be a web element scroll right and in the same way we are going to take scroll left so this is going to be a first image of the web element let's see the id of this one this is going to be a a1 so what this will do first right we have to do scroll right and then we have to do scroll left right let us do that so in javascript executor we have to give the control to from driver to javascript executor then javascript executor will take care of that so javascript executor dot execute script so here what we have to do we have to give the web element what we are taking as a parameter to javascript executor and we have to give the javascript for left we have to give scroll left web element so what we have to give over here right so we have to give the javascript exactly how it works so if you are giving any web element as a second parameter right we have to give here as arguments arguments of zero dot scroll into view method so this is the method that javascript supports to scroll into any web element on your particular web application right so we have to give the same over here as well right so what this will do right this will do uh, scroll right and this will do scroll left let's wait for some moment and uh, see the action let's wait for three seconds over here and here as well right let's try running it hope it goes well it has launched the web application so to wait for seven seconds as we have given thread dots for seven seconds it is in the left most corner and it has to scroll to the right right you can see over here it, it come to the right side corner after three seconds it, it scroll to the left corner right and it is closed right so it's very simple to use right so if you know the uh, exact method what it has to be used to use in javascript right so this is the scroll into view method that we should use based on the web element right so th this is it from this video guys if you love watching my video like my video so please share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching. Thank you.